Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we're going to make a growth chart. So, follow along. Alright, this project is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> so, all we're going to be doing today is we got a six foot board here. I'm really six seven, but this board looks a little taller, or I'm pretty short. One of the two. Well, what we're going to do is this has just been an old board sitting in our in our garage for a while, and we've got a baby shower to go to today. So we're going to turn this into a growth chart that they can put on the wall. Now, at first I thought, well, it'd be nice because it's baby blue for a boy, but we found out it's a girl, so we're going to sand it down, we're going to paint it a different color, we're going to put our lines on it, and we're going to turn this into a nice growth chart form. So basically all we're going to do, sand it down to this, make it smooth again, and then what we can do is wipe it off and we can start painting this a different color. We'll do two coats on it, we'll get some lines put on it, and we'll get a final product out of this out. So let's get started. Next level. Okay, for most of us, what we'll be able to do is start with a new board. So this is where you would actually pick up. But if you had an old board like I did, quickly sand it down. Now we're going to paint it. It's called Pink Elephant. So nice little soft pink. And then our numbers and everything are going to be in, in uh, white. So it's going to be really soft, really nice, and really pretty. But if you have a new piece of wood, you could just give it a scuff sand. Uh, just to knock off any of the dirt and just the wear on it. And then you can stain it and do whatever colors you want. Straightforward. Uh, for the numbers and stuff like that, we'll use a template. But some of you have probably have good enough handwriting where you could actually write it out and make the lines. But we'll go from there. First thing, give it a couple coats of, uh, of pink elephant for us. I'm going to use my short handle angle brush. Pretty new. Go over it twice. Set it out in the sun. We're in Phoenix, so it's going to dry pretty quick. step after we've let this uh, pink elephant dry the color is to draw our lines now for this one what I did was start at the at the bottom of the board pick the favorite my favorite side and uh, I just set my tape measure on here locked it in on a scrap board has a nice straight edge I marked it where I want the length of my inch line my uh, six inch mark and my foot mark. So they'd be all different sizes here uh, for the, the inches, the six inch mark, the halfway point, and then our full uh, foot mark. So then I could just slide this down right over the tape measure at three inches, four inches, five inches, at six inches, longer line, and so forth. And we got the two feet longer line. So we started uh, at the bottom, one foot, two foot, three foot, four, five, and worked our way up here. Um, from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint these lines white. Now, this is a vintage style, so all I'm gonna do is get a paintbrush, thin paintbrush, and go over my lines with white. And then what we'll do is we'll scuff this up a little, get, a little bit, give it a little bit of a charm. I'm thinking about even putting a little, uh, little flowers down the side here to even make it pop a little bit more. So we'll see. We'll go from there once we get the lines on here. And we're just gonna use a uh, pure white on it. All 
camera's picking it up or not, but I've got all my lines. So now what I'm doing is going back in and using my template numbers and just putting them in. So I've put one and two here. I'm going to let two dry and then I'm going to put the three on here. That way I don't have any marks from setting the three down and the two still having some wet paint to go over it. So I'm going to skip three. I'm going to go to four. Then I'll go back to three and then I'll do five while they dry. So let's get started working on uh, four. <laughs> my used 120 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna go over it nice and easy, just give it a little bit of a scuffed in look. Um, and then I'm gonna decide if I want a little flowers in the top and the bottom here, or if I'm gonna leave it this way. So let's just get this sanded down, see what it looks like, and then we can go from there. So I've got it sanded down, I'm going to put a little wax on it, finish this piece off, and then we'll get it up, uh, get some pictures of it finished. So let's get started on waxing it. completed. It's a pink elephant, pink, uh, lightly scuffed up. Our numbers are white. I don't know how much that uh, is going to pick up of the white and the numbers, but came out pretty cool. Very vintage, and we're going to a baby shower later today, and hopefully they love this product and uh, they can watch their baby girl grow with this board. So if you like projects like this and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll keep trying to do some cool projects that anybody really could do with some simple tools.